Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. If you haven't seen my experience video of the XF90 ML F2 lens, go check it out. And thanks to Cons Cameras Ireland and Fujifilm Ireland, again we have another lens to test out for this video. It is the Fujinon XF35 F2 lens. So for this video, I will be focusing again on the first impressions of the lens because I've never uh, used this lens before. And also will be showing you some BTS and pictures of my street photography walk. I will also try to include some recommendations if I have any and my thoughts on this lens. I won't be doing a technical review. It's more like my experience of using this lens and the content that I'm getting with this lens and my overall suggestions or recommendations to anyone who's interested in picking up one of these lenses. All right, so let's do the unboxing of the Fujifilm XF. Okay, it comes with a nice pouch, always a nice touch. Manuals, and then the Fujifilm warranty. Okay. And there we have it. All right, immediately, I think this lens is perfect size and weight for the XH2S. For a 35mm lens, I'm impressed. Shiny black and yeah, very good looking lens. Now let's look at the lens hood. Okay, so that is the lens hood. And then we have the Super EBC 35R WR 43mm filter tray. This is the lens hood. Oh wow, it's a screw on lens hood. Nice touch. Oh yeah, that is nice sound. Let's look at the back. Does have a rubber gasket for weather resistance. Lots of electronic elements. Beautiful lens, love it already. Nice weight, feel, and the perfect, perfect Licky aperture, as always. Beautiful.
photographers love these kind of places, don't they? Nothing special, just an empty barber shop. What's your Insta? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Angus Morrissey. So it's A E N G U S M O W R I W S E Y, which is my name. Hello, I'm Angus. Nice meeting you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Cheers. What's, what's your name? I'm Faith. Faith, Angus. Hello. What's your name? Introduce name. yourself. My name is John. So, this is John. John is the model for this shoot. We are going to be trying out the 35 on the XH2S and I'm trying to take some portraits of John. And I have a flash as well, it's getting a bit dark, but John looks really good. So we're going to take some pictures of John. All right. So, John, what are your hobbies? Jiu-Jitsu. Huh? Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu! Do you know who my favorite actor is? Oh. Van Damme. Uh, yeah. Muscles from Brussels. Yeah. Van Damme is my all-time favorite. Do you know who I don't like at all? Okay, three, two, one. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, yeah, okay, 3, 2, 1, do maybe a spin or maybe walk towards me or walk backwards, yeah, okay. Lots of good pictures there anyway. Hello and welcome back to the video. Thank you so much for watching the BTS of the portrait shoot and my street photography walk. I hope you enjoyed the pictures. I want to say a big thanks again to Cons Cameras Dublin and Fujifilm Ireland for loaning me this lens for the weekend to test it out. Before I give you my impressions and experience of using this lens, please bear in mind that I use this lens on the X-H2S. It has a 26 megapixel sensor instead of the 40 megapixel sensor like the X-T5 or the X-H2. So, I can't vouch for the performance of this lens on those cameras because I haven't used them. This lens was released on October 21st, 2015, which makes it almost 9 years old. At the time, it was a highly anticipated release. It is compact, lightweight, offers good weather resistance, all of the desirable features for uh, street photography. Nine years later, even today, people are buying this lens new and using them. I can imagine people with cameras like the X-T4, X-T3, X-Pro3, XT5 would love having this lens on their camera bodies for street photography. Based on my experience of this lens on the XH2S, I'm very happy with the image quality. The chromatic aberration is very, very, very rarely visible in any of the pictures. Of all the 3000 pictures I took, maybe I noticed chromatic aberrations in one picture. Autofocus speed is really good, fast and reliable. 99.99% success rate. The lens hood that comes with this lens, I don't think it is a very functional lens hood. It just adds a bit more volume to the look of the lens rather than any functionalities.
I thought the subject separation from the background was really good, especially when you're using apertures like f4 or 5.6, you get really sharp images. I would highly recommend that if you're interested in this lens, maybe try to hire this lens for a weekend, play with it and see if you're happy. And if you're happy, then go for it. You can also pick up some of these lenses on the used market for really affordable prices. Overall, if I was to buy this lens and own it, I wouldn't have any complaints. I would use this lens a lot. So yeah, if you are interested in this lens and maybe you've used this, if you have any thoughts, please let me know in the comment section. I also want to give a big shout out again to our sponsors, Cons Cameras Dublin and Fujifilm Ireland. They've been extremely kind enough to loan me this lens for the weekend. If you are a photographer or videographer based in Dublin and you're looking to buy new gear, check out Cons Cameras Dublin. The staff there are really good. They are always there to help you very pleasant environment if you're not sure about whether or not to buy a certain gear you can hire it out for a weekend use it and if you decide to buy that after testing it out they will give you a hundred percent discount off that hiring fee also the number one reason i recommend cons cameras to anyone who's interested in buying new cameras is that they offer unlimited sensor cleaning on your cameras that you purchase from cons cameras thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video in the meantime take care